this video you will learn how to create simple supermetrics based on use cases from the field. Our use case for the first part of the video series is I need a licenses users dashboard showing the current licenses available and their usage. So basically from the dashboard perspective we would like to see something like this one. So we would like to see the current usage of our licenses and we would like to have a comparison between the usage and what we have. And what we have, this number, is something we don't have in VROPS. This is where the supermetrics come into play as well as, for example, the number of VSAN licenses we are currently using. There is no such number in VROPS. We need to calculate that value. So let's start with the first task, creating a custom value reflecting the number of licenses available. OK, let's create our first supermetric. To do so, we go to Administration, Configuration and click on Supermetrics. One click on the Add button starts the process. We give the supermetric a meaningful name and putting a short description is a really good habit. As any metric or property, a supermetric can have a unit you can choose from a drop-down list. In this specific scenario, we don't specify the unit. Now we need to create the formula. The formula is the actual inner workings of the supermetric. And our first formula is the simplest one, just a value. In the next step, we need to assign this value, this new supermetric, to a certain object type in VROPS. As usual, there is a drop-down to select the object type. In this case, it is VSphere World, as we would like to have this number for the entire VSphere infrastructure. And the last step in the process is to enable this new supermetric in a particular policy. As this simple supermetric applies only to the VSphere World object, it's safe to enable it in every single policy. Now we see the new supermetric in the list of all supermetrics and when we go to the vSphere world object we see that new supermetric as any other metric available and we see the value we have specified as we created the supermetric. Following the very same procedure I have created the other two metrics we need for the current use case as you can see in the list of available supermetrics. And finally, we have all the three values we need for this use case available as a supermetric. With these supermetrics in place, our dashboard shows some meaningful information. And in the next part of this video series, we are going to create the missing part for this dashboard. In this video, you have learned the general workflow when creating supermetrics, how to create a simple supermetric, and how to enable supermetrics for specific objects using VRS operations policies. In the next video, you will learn how to create your first real supermetric to enhance our dashboard. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you don't miss the next part.